correctly. They sound like little puppies. They sound like little puppies. I really want to open the door. Grackles. Great tail grackles. And I think those are the brown ones are bow tail. You know, uh, I think I said in the other video bow tail because their their feathers are like a um kind of like a a boat paddle, actually. I think I said rudder, but it's more like a boat paddle. The shape of it. And that's the tail feather part. And um, the great tail um, grackle has the great big long tail. And when he fans it out, it looks kind of like a fan. Look, look where the sparrows are. They're on the line. If you can see. Oh, they flew off. Uh, can't get them through this screen too good. I will say the magic word, shalom, shalom. Now let's see if the screen disappears. Oop, I guess not. <laughs> they sound like little puppies. If I open the door, they're gonna they're gonna fly off. They just flew me. Is that a smudge on the window? Gotta clean the windows. The outside look terrible. I need to hose all of that down. They got I got locks on my screens. You'd have to screw it off to get it open. But my screens lock from the inside. Look at that. Feed yourself, little fussy thing. Everybody else is picking up bugs. You can pick up a bug. Little grackles. Well, somebody found a seed. They're learning to pick up the seeds and the nuts. And there's a certain way that they do it. They toss it up and pop it in your mouth. And that's what the little chicks have to learn how to do. They all learn the same process, even the Jays. I saw the Jays learning how to do that. And when it's too hard, they start begging. Begging other people to feed them. I mean, other birds to feed them. And it doesn't even have to be their mother. <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll go to any bird and beg to be fed. <laughs> feed me. I cannot get this seed in my mouth. Feed me. I saw uh, a jay one time, uh, a juvenile, a young, young one, trying to handle a worm. And he didn't know how to toss the worm up in the air to get it in his mouth. Of course, you do you do the worms different than you do the seeds, but he didn't know that. And I didn't get my camera out fast enough to actually get that. And it was just the funniest thing. 
you know, they're like little toddlers learning how to walk, learning how to talk, learning how to run, learning how to feed themselves. But they're noisy as, as heck. They sound like little puppies. You know, like those little wind-up uh, stuffed do dogs. And you wind it up and it's got a little battery in it. And, and it, 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 it sits, it walks, it sits. And it goes, yap, 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 yap. That's how they sound. And cute little button nose squirrel back here. I think this one is from next door because she's real small. The only way that I know it's a girl, she doesn't have any testes. But her breasts haven't come in yet either. She, she can't be any more than a couple of months old. I don't see any testes on her at all. So, and that, that's why I say she's a little button nose, a little girl. She came from the tree over there. Let me see if I can open the door so I can get a better picture than what this screen will let me get. But, uh,. Darn it. <laughs> 